previous video we have derived the expression for the relative permittivity of the ionosphere and the expression for the epsilon r is 1 minus 81 n by f square okay and it is depending on the two terms the ion density in the particular layer of the ionosphere and the frequency of your electromagnetic wave okay so from the relative permittivity expression we can obtain the refractive index of the the of that particular medium which is nothing but n is equal to under root epsilon r which is nothing but under root of 1 minus 81 n by f square so if you can see the relation between the refractive index and this terms you can understand that the refractive index is depending on the frequency of uh, electromagnetic wave once that means uh, the uh, so, that means uh, the electromagnetic waves constitutes various uh, ranges of the frequencies so for each uh, of, of, i mean for each frequency uh, of the electromagnetic wave travels with uh, i mean if because n is depending on the frequency your velocity of the electromagnetic wave also depends upon the frequency okay so that means for different uh, ring frequency signals of the electromagnetic waves all these waves they propagate with different velocities okay so and hence we need to consider the two different types of velocities that, uh, which are nothing but the group velocity and the phase velocity these two terms are already discussed in the electromagnetic theory where the group uh, phase velocity we uh, from the electromagnetic theory we defined it as c by under root of mu r epsilon r and the group velocity is defined as c into under root of mu r epsilon r let us say that a, a mu r of that medium is 1 then we can write the phase velocity as vp is equal to c by under root of epsilon r where uh, epsilon r for the ionosphere is 1 minus 81 n by f square so the phase velocity of the ionosphere uh, of the wave is nothing but c by this one okay which is nothing but the denominator is nothing but this uh, term is nothing but the refractive index so the final expression of the phase velocity is nothing but c by n and in the same terms the group velocity is can be written as c into under root of epsilon r with mu r is equal to 1 which is nothing but the group velocity is nothing but c into n okay if you multiply group velocity and the phase velocity we'll be getting n n gets cancelled we'll be getting c square okay you keep this relation aside okay now we will take the equation of the refractive index 1 minus 81 n by f square and we need to consider how the wave is once it is uh, entering into the ionosphere how the wave is getting penetrating or refracted or uh, escaping into the sky or returning back into uh, onto the ground these things we have to understand from this refractive index expression so for this we will analyze uh, five cases of the refractive index so now we have to uh, study the uh, wave bending nature in the layers of the ionosphere by taking into consideration the five important cases based on the expression of the refractive index so the uh, case one is nothing but we uh, for different values n can have different values right so uh, for n let us consider the first case as n greater than one okay if n is greater than 1 what is the situation here by looking at this expression n is equal to under root of 1 minus 81 n by f square in order to get n value greater than 1 the this term this term whatever is there 81 n by f square should be negative if this is negative then negative into the negative value will become positive and it becomes 1 plus some positive and it becomes 1 plus something is always greater than 1 and square root of 1 uh, greater than 1 number is always greater than 1 so n becomes greater than 1 so for this case this if for this case to exist your value of 81 n by f square should be negative but is this possible 81 n by f square can be negative no because n is a particular uh, i mean this is the actual ionic density ionic density of a particular layer in the ionosphere or in the particular region and f is the frequency of operation so these two terms cannot be negative and hence this cannot be negative and hence this case does not even exist okay so case one does not exist now what is case two case 2 is nothing but n is taking the value less than 1 okay so what is 
what happens when refractive index of the ionosphere is less than 1 that means the value 81 n by f square under root should be less than 1 that means when the value of uh, this thing will be less than 1 when this value is always positive then that positive value 1 minus uh, no when second case is n is less than 1 okay for this case always exists why because this is this is always a positive value 81 n uh, and n is a positive value f is a positive value and if this fraction 81 n by f square is less uh, is less than 1 then 1 minus something will be always uh, less than 1 and n can be less than 1 okay so what is what do you mean by n less than 1 so this this always exists this case always exists and when can be uh, what happens if n is less than 1 n is nothing but the refractive index and uh, according to the Snell's law it is nothing but sine of angle of incidence divided by the sine of angle of refraction which is nothing but sine phi naught in our case by sine phi okay so if uh, this is less than 1 that means sine of incidence is always less than sine of refraction Okay, that means sine of incidence angle is always less than the refracted angle. Okay, what does this mean? What is happening actually in the ionosphere for this case is when you are trying to uh, send the electromagnetic signal with a certain angle of incidence. Let us say this is the angle of incidence. Okay, for n less and also you have to consider in this case that uh, as the altitude increases the ionic density ionic density in the ionosphere layer keeps on increases that means n value increases because of the uv radiation with uh, uh, happening more at the uppermost layer of the ionosphere than at the lowermost layer of the ionosphere more ions are present in the uppermost side than towards the lower so as altitude increases the ionic density increases okay as ionic density is increasing that means this value is increasing if this is increasing the this fraction keeps on increasing okay for a particular value of f so this value is always less i mean if this is more and more and f is also high enough then this fraction becomes the uh, this fraction becomes a value uh, less than one and this makes n less than one okay so as n increases as n increases the overall refractive index value keep on decreasing because this is more and more large value and when we are uh, subtracting one minus large value you will be getting the overall value as less okay so as n is increasing as altitude is increasing n increases as n uh, increases your refractive index keep on decreasing that means when you are increasing the altitude when you are uh, going higher and higher distances in the uh, in the ionospheric layer your refractive index keeps on decreases the reason behind this is the n keep on increases okay so for this reason the refractive index is always less than one that means the uh, angle of incidence is always less than refraction that means this is your angle of incidence let us say for the lower layer of the ionosphere okay so this is your angle of incidence this is your angle of incidence and this is your angle of refraction okay this is phi r and this is phi i so that means the wave is actually penetrating by hitting the lower and a lower layer of the ionosphere with the particular angle of incidence phi naught and it is getting refracted okay this refracted this is another layer this is another layer this is another layer right so this refracted wave becomes the incident ray for the second layer of the ionosphere right so this will become the next um, angle of incidence okay and uh, because of this angle of incidence there will be certain refracted angle okay the ray gets refracted and the refracted angle is like this and we came to know that n keep on decreases as we are increasing as n is increasing that means your angle of incidence keep on reducing as your angle of incidence is keep on reducing when compared to the refracted uh, angle right so as your n small n is less than one keep on decreasing as your increases with the height the 
this angle of incidence on each and every layer of the ionosphere keep on keep on decreases and the refracted angle keep on increases when you compare with the lowest layers and at certain point at certain point or the, at the certain layer of the ionosphere your refracted angle almost becomes 90 degrees okay at this point at this point the refracted where the refracted angle becomes 90 degrees the wave actually uh, i mean turn into the downward direction and come back to the earth okay so this is the uh, mechanism of the ray bending in the ionosphere that means as the height increases the refractive index value is decreasing that means the angle of incidence is less than the angle of refraction this makes your the electromagnetic wave which is penetrating into the ionosphere keep on bending bending with the uh, incident angle becoming more and more less value the refracted angle more and more larger value and the maximum value it reaches to 90 degrees and then the wave completely bends and come back to the earth and the receiving uh, station at the uh, other part of the earth can able to receive the signal this is how the wave bending takes place in the ionosphere and the reason behind this is your refractive index value of the ionosphere being one because of this nature the uh, wave bending nature takes place and your sky wave propagation come into existence okay